Yo Sin, and welcome back today you guys, and today we're going to be looking at the second episode of our series of making our way up to 50,000 dice, and remember if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure you scroll on down, put them in the comments, and hit a like and a sub while you're down there, because it helps us way more than what you guys know, and let's hop right into it. Alright, and now we're diving into our day two kind of day three setting, you know, this is the first, you know, the combination of the top and the side event, I wanted to make sure I always log in when there's a fresh combination of two fresh events to make sure that I can get the maximum dice out of it. Now you can see here too, I started out, you know, I think it was, yeah, it was around the 2000 dice mark last time. And we were able to jump right into a high roller, which lets us roll, I believe, what did it say? 500. So it, it immediately, I have to hop in and tell you about the risk of rolling on times 500 at this level. When you have like no dice, like the situation that I'm in and you're rolling on times 500, you absolutely have to like go through the rewards in the in, of the events and make sure that you're going to be getting 500 dice back when you land that roll because if you don't you're immediately going to take a downward turn in dice if, if you can't you know take the dice you know hopefully you'll be able to get enough money to maybe get net worth upgrades or something because if you if you don't get that perfect payback you'll be net negative in dice and you know that's not what I'm trying to do so I'm just trying to make sure that everything I do there is gonna add up. I made sure that, as you can see, I'm logging in with the good events, like the color boost, making sure, like I said, fresh events, making sure everything is timed at least as well as I can, because I still have to apply my main account as well, you know? So I'm making sure that, you know, my main account and this one are kind of getting played at good times, but I can't play them both at the same time, you know? So I'm just kind of making sure that everything gets done with the least amount of risk right now. Now, I, a lot of people have been asking me about chance and jail setups too, because that's what I've been doing quite a bit as well. Not so much in the um, in this one, but a lot in the last one, and a lot just in general. When you're setting up the chance and jail cards, when I mention that, well, exactly what I'm saying is when you are playing in airplane mode, you know, when you're in airplane mode and you're recording your numbers, while you're doing that, if you land on a chance and you see that you get money, uh, dice railroad whatever that is remember that because when you're in your normal play afterwards when you know delete the data or uninstall the game and you go back and you are at where you were at originally you will know what's going to happen when you land on that chance card it's all predetermined so that same thing that you saw will happen again and that same exact rule applies to jail the dice that you roll in jail are all predetermined they're all they will be the same from airplane mode back to your original play. You can find out exactly how much you will be rewarded and make sure that you use, you know, the highest multiplier to get there and the least amount of dice otherwise to make sure that you, you know, if you roll double sixes, make sure you roll a thousand, you're going to get rewarded 6,000 dice. You know, it's not a 100% science. It doesn't work every time, but when it does, it's a huge plus. You can see here too that we had the digging event going on. That was real profitable. Um, I, there is a way that you could use airplane mode to help you there. I know that the, the pieces shuffle underneath the ground, but essentially what you do is just log in and you could just press one shovel, hit one random square, and see if you, hit, if you um, uncover an object. If you don't, then you would you know go back and you delete that on airplane mode and go back in and try another random square i know they will be shuffled and changed into different locations but you would essentially do that until you uncover something on the first shovel and then when you do that you would uncover the whole object save that and then do the airplane mode strategy again to make sure that there's no waste in between but to be honest with you it's real tedious and i had so many extra shovels that i just didn't do that on this i didn't even i was doing so many resets for the rolling that i didn't want to also reset for the digging event i figured that's a bit much but with all my stickers here too with the color boost and all these event matching that i'm doing it's helping a ton because i was able to complete my first little uh set of cards i know it's not a whole ton of dice i believe it was just a couple hundred but everything counts when you're not trading everybody and you're doing it all by yourself <laughs> i think i acquired about i think almost 110 cards out of the gallery so far so that's like I think is real good considering I've only logged into this account literally like four or five times and you know not trading with anybody that's not too shabby 
as you can see we did get a big few juicy 500 hits that were real nice that helped you out a ton when you're at this low level if a times 500 hit does so much for you i am getting lucky with the tournaments as well the leaderboard tournaments i've been noticing that i'm winning first in second place on the tournaments like i'm sure you saw right when we logged in i think i got first place in the second tournament i think i got second place like i'm not getting in the airplane mode lobbies where it's super hard and everybody scores super high so i think i'm just kind of getting a drop of luck right there but that's helping a ton as well giving me giant punches of dice like 2100 dice you know stuff like that and if i can you know at least manage to stay in these normal lobbies hopefully that'll be a big plus for this i didn't expect to score high in tournaments i expected to be in airplane mode tournaments and get like you know outclassed because i didn't have enough dice but it's been working great so far there also is a point later on in the video which i mean hopefully uh hopefully you guys can't spot it but uh i lose i end up actually i'm not i'm not perfect so i was while i was performing airplane mode i miss i think i messed up and lost 500 dice just in one roll just because i messed up and i wrote down the wrong number and i was one digit off and i thought that i was right on the money and i wasn't and it and it really like i just got awarded that 500 so to see that it really like you got to make sure you're playing so careful if you're going to be risking that much dice when you shouldn't be because i really shouldn't have been rolling on times 500 probably i probably should have been rolling a little bit less but you know i was trying to just get that big juicy monster hit that you know we all want to see and back to getting these net worth upgrades man i got so much net worth i think we started out with like just underneath 300 or something like that when we started today's we're working up to 600 we're getting hundreds of dice tons of upgrades so next time we're getting tons of more money making our way downtown And there's that completed set of cards that I was telling you guys about. Yeah, that's the one. It's not too much dice, but it still adds up and it's really helpful that you can actually complete sets without trading. And then after that, I basically just did more uh, airplane mode for about another 20 so minutes. And then after all that was done, I ended up with 810 net worth, 9,246 dice, and about 108 cards that i feel like that's a real good spot to end it on the second episode and that's a that's a good chunk of making our way up to 50,000. we're almost one fifth of the way there already remember go on down and hit us a like and a sub i'll uh go down and put any questions or concerns you got and yosin out